spectrometer is essentially the device's sense of kinesthesia or where the device is in space at any given time. So what this tells us is where the device is on the X, Y, and Z axis. So I've gone ahead and created here a Android application. You can see the Android manifest right there. And I'm going to do my usual house cleaning. Take out all these files from the template that I don't use. And then I'm going to load the HTML into my favorite browser, into my favorite text editor. Here we go. Uh, yes, we want to open it. There we go. Still have an old one open there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And off we go. All right, so now I'll do my house cleaning here. We'll get rid of all that. And we'll get rid of everything except the connection to the Cordova JavaScript library. And then I move that into the head. So again, three values to display here, the X, Y, and Z. So this gives us all three axes to detect how a device is moving. And again, it's called the accelerometer that does this. So the pattern is similar to patterns you've already seen. Let's go ahead and create a place to output the X, Y, and Z acceleration values. So we'll just do X colon, output ID equals Excel X. And we'll do the same thing for Y and Z. This is really useful if you're going to make any type of game and you want the device itself to serve as the uh, joystick. So as the user moves the device, it acts like a joystick. They move to the right. You can actually track the, in the accelerometer how it's moving to figure out how your game should react. All right, so now we've got our X, Y, and Z. Let's go ahead and add some breaks here so these are perfect all right so now so we've got to wait for the device to be ready before we do anything with the accelerometer so i'll do my typical pattern with the window on load and an anonymous function we'll attach to the document an add event listener method listening for the device ready function You've probably got this memorized by now. And now our init function where we'll set things up. Because we know init won't run till the device is ready. So I'm going to use the watch acceleration function. The watch acceleration function will get the results from the accelerometer at regular intervals and we can set that interval I'll show you how to do that in just a moment we can also get the current acceleration which just takes a snapshot of the acceleration at any time that you want all right so we're going to use the watch acceleration function and that gets attached to the navigator object so here first off I'm going to create a watch ID and I think I'm going to declare that as global in case I need to access that from another function and let's see here oops no space there okay perfect so the watch ID is going to get what is returned from like I said we attach the accelerometer to navigator dot watch acceleration and then we've got to give it a success function, a failure function, and then we have the ability to set options. I'm only going to set one option here, and that's the frequency with which, with, with which we will pull the accelerometer. I'm going to do it once every half second, so we'll get results from the accelerometer every half second. And you've got to put it in this uh, curly brackets here in this JSON object format. 